can't believe this, and we all finally ended together. Miss Dickens. But we did so well that time. Yeah, I'll keep for once. Oh, yeah, I'll keep for once. Is that directed at me? Hey, if the tin ear fits. Oh, we're never gonna get this right, Miss Dickens. Oh, I don't believe yeah, this. I don't think so. <laughs> we ended like we were supposed to. We broke apart, right? Yes, Punch. It all looked very nice. Thank you. Duncan! We do this tomorrow night. Thank you, Phoebe, for the uh, update. I know, Mrs. Dickens. I got a man working on it. You say that about everything. I can't believe. I can't believe just when we think we we get all everything perfect, something like this happens. And I just got my lalas in the right order too. How can you get your lalas out of order? If anybody can do it, Punch sure can. Leave Punch alone. You're doing a wonderful job, Punch. You mean for a jock? Well, certainly not for a human being. Phoebe. Sorry, Miss Dickens. No, apologize to Punch. Okay, sorry, Punch. You are a human being. <laughs> That's better. I'd still like a second opinion, though. Where is he? He ain't back here. He's not back here? Hey, we ain't in class. Don't give me homework. Well, he couldn't have just run off. And as well, not in class. You want to step outside? So hold up here. I have a lot of things to do this afternoon. Mr. Crunch, I didn't know you were in the audience. I thought I'd better come see how things were running. It's about what I expected. We did our parts. I had to learn lines and everything. This wasn't our fault. You kept playing this on us. Yeah, my mother's gonna see this. I put a lot of time and effort into my part. Okay, okay. It's just a minor hold up. What's the problem this time? Santa Claus is missing. Um, what? Well, at the end of the show where Santa's supposed to be right here, there should be a life-size Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, do you, do you mean the one that we've had since the opening of the school? Uh, the plastic one that lights up? Yeah, it's got to be around here somewhere. Hey, it's a plastic Santa Claus, so maybe he went to a plastic North Pole. So old and beat up, it probably went to the city dump. Okay, all right, all right. I know that Santa statue might have weathered a few winters, but it's been with us for a long time. Okay, we must respect tradition. Mrs. Dickens, this is getting to be too much. Uh, first, there was the problem between scheduling the auditorium with you and the band. I know, I know. Then there was the mix up with royalties. And now this? It, it'll work out, I can assure you. You can't assure me of anything. <clears throat> I have no choice but to cancel the show unless the Santa can be found. Cancel, cancel the show? Oh, you I can't do that. that. Everyone settle down, please, please. Sir, we've ironed out all the problems you've mentioned. This is so minor. So minor? I mean, I mean somebody has stolen our Santa. Okay, committed a crime mocking our school tradition, and you call it minor? Mrs. Dickens, if we simply let this slide, we are failing to set the proper example. And if Wilk High School Santa Claus is not present at the show tomorrow night, students and alumni both will be disappointed. Personal feelings must not enter into this. Copies of this speech can be obtained by... What was that? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Look, sir, what about this? Say we find Santa Claus by the end of the show, maybe we can put the on them? Well, you find it by the end of tonight or no show? End of today, but that's all. Oh, check back later. Mrs. Dickens, we can spread out and find them. Yeah, it must be around here somewhere. Yeah, unless. Unless what? Unless he was stolen. And that means Let's it not even consider that us. right now. But this is a mystery, all right. Duncan? I didn't steal him. No, no. Run next door and get find if the clue club is still holding um, their meeting. Get them in here. This is right up their alley. The clue club? Yes, it's this group of kids that like solving mysteries. Uh, they're from the science lab, so 
um, an outsider's perspective might do us some good here. Got a man on it. He says that about everything. Now, everyone see. Don't you want to know what to think about? Mm, that'd be good. I was using free association. I read that in Field and Stream. <laughs> I was just thinking that I thought you were trying to get us to remember where was the last time we saw him. Exactly, Clark. Now, did any of you see anyone else around that Santa at our last rehearsal? Come on, don't worry about snitching or getting anyone into trouble. Well, Phoebe? I saw a ponce around him. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to start a fight with him. Trying to start a fight with Santa. What kind of an animal are you? <laughs> You're going to get a crowd of stockings full of coal this year. <laughs> I was just shadow boxing, that's all. Santa Claus? <laughs> what happened? Your own saddle take you down? Your own saddle beat you up before? Hey, I didn't take him. I bet he could take you, though. Yeah. This crew club, are they any good? Uh, did you eat in the cafeteria today? Yeah. Well, they figured out what the meat was. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> um, they could have taken it, too, just to have a mystery to solve. Yeah, true. Sure. Here they are, Mrs. Dickens. They were dissecting a frog. Yuck. Ew. You're assuming. You should never assume. We were examining a dissected frog. We didn't dissect it. Remember, what you see and what you think you see can be two different things. So, you have some ease. Now we've got something. Take it easy, cat. Take it easy. Take it easy, cat. Wait until. Wait until we got some real evidence to work with. Well, what's the gig here? Well, first students, in case you don't know them, this is Bing, Cat. Ready to go. Oh, Cat, sorry. And Susie. Okay, start from the dump. And keep it back. It's not a murder, is it? Oh, good heavens, no. Hey, I just thought it being this time of year, I have a great title for this case if it were a murder. Feature this. Gold, frankincense, and murder. Is that a grabber or what? You scam me. Anybody else? Well, I guess in this case we could call you CSI. CSI? Yes, Christmas Scene Investigators. There's your title. So why did you call us in? Well, you may can't find this hard to believe, but we're missing the school Santa Claus. Um, he's made of plastic, about four foot tall. Traditional size. Sometimes they're a bit shorter when he's a jolly old elf. He was chubby and plump, right? Jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A quote from A Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Moore. I handle the history in the group. We all have our specialties. Just give the pertinent information to Pat there. She handles all of the reporting and serves as our literary researcher. That's me, all right. Sue, you do the one on one. She means I'll be looking for motives. My strong suit is psychology. Well, start on punch. He needs all the help he can get. Hey. And I'll be looking for any physical evidence. I handle all the chemistry stuff. Uh, do you want a DNA sample, too? Oh, good heavens, no. <laughs> well, maybe not right away. First, when was the said Santa Claus found missing? <clears throat> well, if he was found, he wouldn't be missing. Duh. Well, just a minute ago, we came to his part in the play, and he wasn't there. And if we don't find him, Mr. Crunch is going to cancel the whole Christmas show, show just because of a missing Santa. Well, supposedly it's not just a, any ordinary Santa. It's been for the school's tradition for years and years or something like that. Yeah, but who cares about old tradition anyway? It looks like Santa was on his last legs to me. We have to do this, so We all get <laughs> extra grade points. Like, and our families are going to see this, too. And I got a bed that I won't go through with it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can tell I have my work cut out for me here. I'm going to need a table out here. Got a man on it. He says that about everything. Somebody show me. Somebody show me where the Santa was supposed to be standing. Um, well, over here. Do you lock up the auditorium after each rehearsal? Well, yes, of course, but we have to get the key from Mrs. Lyles. She's at the front desk. 
I'll go check with Mrs. Miles. They can't do a thing here anyway until he gets set up. Look, I don't see why anyone would want to steal it, especially now. Good point. Why not wait? Yeah, right. Wait. Wait? Like, what does that mean? Simple logic. If somebody wanted a Santa Claus for their own purposes, why not wait until after tomorrow night? Right, when the show is over, nobody will miss it. Exactly. Christmas is still over a week away. Plenty of time for a decoration. But it was stolen now. Somebody wanted it to be found missing. There she goes again. There she goes again. A equals B, B equals C, therefore A must also equal C. Um, okay, everybody in the show, move over to this side of the stage. So, good more. Oh. How's this? Fine. Okay, now, how do you all get along? How do we all get along? She just asked that. I was just repeating what she said, you doofus. Okay, that answers that question. Well, they've all been very good, and they've all learned their lines. Just everybody's a little bit agitated right now, this being dress rehearsal. And they all volunteered? Auditioned for the show, that kind of thing? That's right. Are there any props missing? Are there any props missing? Okay. Uh, not, not as far as I can tell, no. No, I haven't checked. Oh, and I haven't checked. Now would be a good time, don't you think? Oh, all right, I'll be, I'll be right back. Don't you mean you got a man working on it? Don't you mean you got a man working on it? That's the second time you've yelled at him. Duncan is? <laughs> Duncan is? Oh, he's our stage manager. He always works backstage. Anybody else? Well, the costume girl, Nelda. Where is Nelda, anyway? I haven't seen her today. Anybody else? Would you check costumes, please, Clark? Oh, yeah. I got a man on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the floor plans to the building up in a minute. Mrs. Lyles came back with me. Now, what is this about a missing key? I didn't say the key was missing. I simply asked about the auditorium key. Yeah, and when a kid comes asking me questions, I always go check with the adult on duty. Oh, that would be me, Mrs. Lyles. I, uh, it's okay. I sent her to ask you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and you also see anyone leave the building after school is out, right? Yeah. Another kid asking me questions. <laughs> yes, I always see everybody that leaves. And I see each and every one of you leave the building. I have a feeling we are not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Did you see anyone say yesterday um, carrying a Santa Claus? You know, I think I'd have noticed that. I'm up and running. Have there been any renovations to the auditorium in the last couple of years? Oh, no, not that I'm aware of. Good. No trapdoors on stage then? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean somebody actually stole our Santa Claus? That's what we're trying to find out. Oh, well, Merry Christmas to all of you. Oh, you don't like Christmas. What? Oh, no, no, I, I, I like Christmas. I, I love Christmas. It gives me a chance to get away from you kids. Yeah, you want to see this? Standard proscenium stage, doorways, storage areas. And how do you feel about Santa Claus? Well, oh, we never dated, if that's what you think. <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? You don't think it's too early to run a blanket? It's as good a time as any. Wait, did you guys see this? What is it? Oh, of course. I should have thought about that when we first got here. Do you know where it is? Pretty good idea. Pretty good idea. Pretty good idea. I'll get there. I'll get it. I'll get it if it's there. Yeah, you and Sue stay here. Gotcha. Well, bring it back here as soon as you can. Sure. 
Man, I bet somebody's getting get in trouble. So, you sure you see everyone who leaves the building after school is out? Yes, I do. What about right now? People could have left while you've been in here. What? Oh, well, I can't believe I got caught like that. Oh. <laughs> Look at her go. Yeah, you should have seen her doing a fire drill today. Fire drill? I forgot all about that. We had a fire drill earlier today. Right, but... Oh, I see. That's when the Santa Claus could have got stolen. Could be. Well, no more when Bing gets back. But even if you do find it, will you know who took it? Why do you want to know? Look, Agatha Quissy, some questions are just questions. That's all. I was just curious. A moment ago, you said that everyone was agitated. Right, because it's dress rehearsal, and now because the show may, may get canceled because of Mr. Crunch. I bet he took the Santa. Yeah, he hates Christmas. He hates everything, Miss Scrooge. Now, I know for a fact he doesn't hate Christmas. Why, you should see his lawn. It is full of reindeer and snowmen. And, and Santa? He had four Santa Clauses out there. Listen, can you work while we get on with rehearsal? It might be a good idea. Okay, kids, let's run that Scrooge scene again. Punch, Clark, positions for scene four. Nothing else missing, Mrs. Dickens. Oh. Bing is running the blanket. Bing is running the blanket. That's a good idea. Okay, Punch. Start with uh, Merry Christmas, Uncle. Right. Uh, Merry Christmas, Uncle. Merry Christmas? Bah, humbug. Now, now, Uncle. Surely you don't mean that. Don't I? If I had my way, everyone with Merry Christmas on their lips would be boiled with their own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through their heart. I still think we should hang Scrooge at the end. Maybe. But Scrooge repents. He finally gets the real meaning of the season. Nelda! Sorry I'm so late. I didn't realize I'd be this long. I had to go over to the nursing home and deliver some stuff. I'm helping with a Christmas dinner there on Sunday. Okay, well next time tell me, okay? All right, boys. Try it again. Right. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Merry Christmas, bah, humbug. Now, now, Uncle, surely you don't mean that. You're Nelda, the costumer for the show? Yes, that's right. And you had, and you said you had some stuff to take over to the nursing home. Uh, yes! Did I say that? What sort of stuff? Oh, you know, paper plates and paper napkins and some tablecloths. I see. Um, oh, okay, um, go ahead, boys, start again. One more time. And hurry. And hurry before I forget my part. Merry Christmas, Uncle. Merry Christmas, bah humbug. Now, now, Uncle, surely you don't mean I that. Mean, don't don't have anything. I mean, uh, there aren't any big Christmas decorations up. So you thought they could use some of the stuff from here? Well, yes, but of course I checked with Mrs. Dickens first. Yes, yes, anything, anything. All right, boys. Okay. Merry Christmas, Aunt. Oh, oh. I mean, Phoebe gave me the idea. Me. That's it. Next time, I'm only playing sheep. <laughs> Don't drag me into this. If you stole that Santa, I didn't have anything to do with it. What? Stole Santa? Yes, the plastic Santa Claus is gone. Do you know anything about that? No, ma'am. Well, please tell me if you think of anything, okay? Can we please start again? Why? Okay, everyone. We have to do something. Let's search backstage. What? Yes, let's search backstage. We won't be doing any show until we find that thing, so let's try this. But they might be destroying any clues that the perpetrator might have left behind whenever they stole the Santa Claus. Well, I am sorry about that, but I'm at the end of my rope here. We'll find it. Also, look in the costume and the prop rooms. Sure. Got a man on it. Hey, I have everything just the way I like it back there. Mrs. Dickens, just how honest is Nelda? Look, I trust her more than anyone I know. And who don't you trust? I can't believe this. This is not the way to celebrate Christmas. Oh, don't give up hope. We might have some of the suspects eliminated. Oh, there you are. Did you find something? I'm afraid not. Then we're right back where we started. Not so. 
We're actually a lot further along now. Well, what did you find? It's what we didn't find that matters. Where is everybody? They're running amok. I better check. Well, you know Mrs. Lyles wasn't. You know Mrs. Lyles wasn't totally honest with us. What? How do you know? There has to be other people with the keys to this room and the building. Well, there's a night watchman for one. And I was thinking about the janitor. Yeah, we saw Mr. Poultry in the hall just now. We'll go get him, will you, Phoebe? Be right back. Look, you don't need to worry about the night watchman. I know he left and went out of town yesterday on the morning bus. And Santa was here for yesterday's rehearsal? That's right. Night watchman no. or a janitor went to Santa Claus. I'll be here, That's here tomorrow. You tell. You tell. No. I have the Christmas show. I told you the day after tomorrow. Hey, Miss Dickens. Look what I found. We could put a beard on it and put it in a red suit. <laughs> no, no, that won't fool the old goat. It's worth a shot. Oh, no, not you, Mom. No, no, I wasn't talking about you. I was <laughs> mother looks. I can't. I told you. Tomorrow, after the show. Yes, I know that. Goodbye, I'll call you later. I know that might look suspicious. You mean say you sold Santa Claus because you knew Principal Crunch would call off the show, which would allow you to leave the school a day early and be at your mom's by tomorrow? Yes. Never entered my mind. Here's Mr. Portrait. Did someone get sick? <laughs> What was that meat anyway we had for lunch? Sorry. The thing is, Mr. Pertwee, we can't find our Santa Claus. The school has used, you know, the one the school's used every year since the beginning of time. The one that lights up when the kids are singing uh, Deck the Halls? You know about that? Well, sure. Doesn't everyone? Well, have you seen that Santa Claus? Haven't seen the Santa Claus. Not since, Not since yesterday, anyway. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Well, it does remind me when I was when I was a kid. Oh, you really love Christmas then? Sure, doesn't everyone? You know, it's kind of like this. All year long, we run around, going to work, running into each other, going to meetings, coming from meetings, and then Christmas rolls around, and everyone seems to smile more and. And there's decorations and lights going up all over town and in folks' homes. And people go out of their way to try and help one another. And then uh, we have this Christmas play and the kids are singing. And, you know, it just kind of makes you feel warm inside. And, and then at the end when Santa Claus lights up, that's kind of how I feel, kind of warm inside. But, you know, Christmas isn't all that outside stuff. It also comes from in here. So, I do like to watch the kids when I'm working, do their rehearsals. I hope you don't mind. No, that's all right, Mr. Pertwee. That's kind of nice, in fact. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll let you know. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let, let me know if you see good old Santa, okay? If I see good old Santa, I'll let you know. Please do. Oh, sorry. And this thing doesn't drive. Wow, that was so no, that guy really has the true spirit of Christmas. Who would have believed it coming from a guy like him? You Nimrod, Christmas is for everyone. Sure makes me feel sort of... Sort of what? Sort of selfish. Here we are doing this really nice Christmas play with all this color and spirit, and all I could think about was getting extra credit for it. And now? Now? This is for the whole school. It's not for just for us. He gave us a lot to think about. You know, some of us were just doing it because we were sewing off to our families. Or on account that we made a bet. Or that we want to be with someone special. Mrs. Ms. Dickens. Dickens, we really have to do this so. You know what? We will do this show. No Santa Claus or no Santa Claus. We're going to do this show. Mm -hmm. awesome. awesome. We didn't say nothing. I said we're going to do this Christmas show. Oh, well, that's wonderful. So you found Santa then? 
Um, well, that's the thing. We haven't found him. <sighs> um, we got a scarecrow. What? I can't believe just because Santa was misplaced. Misplaced? Huh? Or was he stolen? I mean, we have to remember our priorities. Now, look, I don't want to be the Scrooge here. Good. They never get to your part. <laughs> but tradition is tradition. We simply cannot do the show without Santa. Principal Crunt, may I ask you a few questions? Um, of course. They're, they're conducting a investigation into the disappearance of Santa. Oh? Uh, right. Uh, last year, during the career fair, which you put together, we decided to go into police work. Yeah, and this is our lab project. Yeah. Oh. Do you know how much you value? I know how much you value experience. It's the best teacher there is. Exactly. Well, we're turning this into a working problem. Taking lemons and making lemonade. That's the idea. The man talks and he shakes. Now, in any investigation, all the witnesses must be questioned. I'm sure you can see that. Certainly. Oh, oh, and I'm one of the witnesses. Oh, <clears throat> what questions do you have for me? What, what question do we have for you? Mm-hmm. What's your hat size? What? Hey, these are standard questions. We ask them of everybody. Uh, I'm sorry, but do you mean to tell me that somebody stole Santa and left their hat behind? Hey, if we understood everything, we'd have it solved. I don't wear a hat. Now, do you have any real questions for me? Because if not, I have to go and make the announcement that the show has been canceled. Oh, Mr. Cancel, please don't cancel, cancel the show. Like, come on. I still bought this. It's such a wonderful place. It's not for us. It's such a wonderful It's such a wonderful production. Come on. It's not just for us, you understand? What? She means that the show's for all the kids, each and every one of them. And the families too. Yeah, they're going to see this. They look forward to it. Oh, um. They look forward to it. They and it's all we have given of ourselves. Yeah. It's all give to them. Yeah, free association. I'm gonna keep using that until I find a spot for it. <laughs> well, um, I had no idea that you all felt like that. Well, we do. Yes. But what about book Santa Claus? I mean, I simply can't imagine an adequate replacement for our old Saint Nick. This isn't about Christmas spirit. It's about school spirit. Tradition. Hey, everybody, look what I found. Oh no, he melted. That's just a Santa suit. So he's a running around naked? No, silly, it's a plastic Santa Claus. It, it's painted on. Oh. Nilda, where did you find that? It was in a box marked sleigh suit. Only sleigh was spelled S-L-A-Y. People wonder why I'm losing my hair. You it want must... us to work on that? Yeah, where's the last place you saw it? <laughs> It must be left over from last year when the elementary school used our auditorium for their show. So you still haven't found Santa? Well, no, we're, we're still... That's all I wanted to know. I'd better go make that announcement now. But you can't. But you said we had till the end of the day. And it is the end of the day. It's five right now. Try to give us a little bit more time. You really want to do the show this Come on. Time. I've made up my mind. All right? The whole idea of Christmas is... It's spiritual. Feeling and taking joy in the season and giving, just like they said. Well, it's very nice, Susie, but unless you know who the culprit is. We do. We do? A moment for us to compare our notes, sir. Make it a brief one. Right. You said if this was cleared up, uh, we could do the show. Let's just see what they had come up with first. Uh, I want to see this. It's got a Look, we know what we know. We have to go with that. It's inconclusive, no corroboration. We haven't worked out all the links. Plus, I'm not sure what we know. But we do know, wait. I don't know, what if we all 
Risky, risky. We could. Only if. It's like they got their own language or something. Yeah, so long as they come in peace. Let's just see where the evidence takes us, right? All right, go with it, man. You got the ball. You too. Okay. Okay, we'll now tell you what we have. This better be good. I get the feeling that all on trial here. Yeah, Big Brother's watching you. Now, why would you say that? I think it's because Principal Crunch is here. What? I think the kids will feel freer to talk if we are backstage. <laughs> I don't see how that's possible. I... And uh, Kat has some more questions for you as well. Oh, wonderful. I can just imagine. Well, you want to know my shoe size now? Ten and a half. Now, if you don't mind, sir, about that particular shoe. My father has it just like that. And I was one. She's doing Columbo. <laughs> Miss Dickens, here's the thing. You know who did it? Oh, this is a part I've been dreading. I'm not sure I want to know who did it. Well, that's normal. Human nature. Is it human nature to just expect the best in everyone? I'm afraid not. I think that's just one of the special things about you. Why don't we tell you whom we eliminate? That's the way they do it in television and all the movies. Okay, go ahead. I just want to tell you, you've all been a great help. We have, but we didn't do anything. Exactly, and that's how you helped. And if we're right, this may be a first. How? You know how it's always the last person you suspect? Right. Well, this time, it's the first one. I was just shadow boxing, that's all. <laughs> I think we are too. I'm not talking about you. So I am eliminated. I didn't say that either. <sighs> Punch, you ever think of becoming a mime? We're talking about the cast as a group. I was interested in finding a motive. Well, I guess you could say I found quite a few of them. We heard that some of you were doing this show because you wanted to impress your families, or you had a bet, or you wanted to be with someone special, and on and on. Well, that's true, but that's not why we're doing this show now. But that may play an important part in this. I'm talking about before today's rehearsal. None of you seemed interested in Christmas. The spirit, the day, and the feeling that goes behind it. But you all had motives for doing the show. In other words, you all wanted to do this show for one reason or another. Why then would any of you jeopardize it by stealing a Santa Claus? So I am eliminated. So I am eliminated. I'm just going to shut up now. And that's all? That's the only reason you don't think any of them did it? Well, no, we had to be sure. And that's why we ran the blanket. And what is the blanket? It's a way to blanket a group of suspects all at once. See, we pretended to find a spot where we were sure that we would find the Santa Claus, and then Bing left to retrieve it. And we stayed here to watch everyone else. If one of them was the guilty party, we figured they'd make some excuse and leave. Then, getting to their hiding place, they'd move the Santa somewhere else. But nobody left. That's what you meant when you said we helped by doing nothing. Well, it's not hard and fast evidence, but it's certainly corroboration. Then you think it's someone who's not in the cast? Well, Seems that happy. way. It's not one of us. Can't you just tell us who did steal it? You'll have to see how the match works first, okay? This way you can see our reasoning, how we came to our conclusion. But couldn't you just explain that later and tell us who did it? Nelda? Nelda? I can't believe it. Huh? Yes? You said you took stuff to the nursing home, right? Well, yes, but... Okay. Duncan? Uh, what? You said that none of the other props were missing. In fact, nothing other than the Santa Claus, right? Near as I can tell, yeah. This is why we don't think Nelda took it. You don't think it's her? In cases like this, the perpetrator usually tries to take something small first. A test run. Sometimes to try their luck. Oh, like a dress rehearsal. Oh, good comparison. And anyway, Nella's been working on the costumes for the show. Why would she want to pull a stunt like this? Risk the whole show for one Santa? Plus, she said she was going to ask you about borrowing the Santa after the show was over. 
and fire on admission. She's very honest. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, thank you, Miss Dickens. And Duncan's eliminated for much the same reasons. He's been working on getting the show up and running. Why would he want to ruin it? So you said it's nobody in the cast and nobody backstage. Then who does that mean? Just four suspects. Including, I'm afraid... Me? I'm afraid so. But I didn't take it. I've been working on the show just No, now, long. now. No need to get alarm, to alarm anyone here. We have an idea. This could solve everything if you'll just humor us. You want us to tell you a joke? No. We want you to reenact the crime. Oh, you mean like they do on TV and in the movies? Right. Run that song. The one that has Santa at the end. What good will that do? He's still missing. As Sherlock Holmes once said, I know it must be here because I know it could be nowhere else. Well, we're not doing anything else. Everybody keep your fingers crossed. Okay, for what it's worth, everybody in place for the finale. Okay. You want the whole song? No, probably just the final stab. Folks, get out of the way. Okay, kids. Well, let's just take it from the last deck the halls and follow through to the end. Uh, Duncan? Oh, right. Let me know when you're cued. What do we do if this doesn't work? Well, then we're wrong. Wash your mouth out. Ready? <laughs> All right, hit the music. It's a miracle. So you're going to be the Santa? Oh, that's not that's nice. Wait a minute, sir. I'm confused. First you're all gung-ho to cancel the show, and now you're here to save it? I know, I know. <clears throat> I have something to say. I was wrong. You were wrong? Yes, and I wish to apologize to all of you for that. The principal is apologizing to us? My world doesn't make sense anymore. <laughs> you see, I thought none of you cared for Christmas, and that you were all doing this for the wrong reasons. You know, all I heard all week was that somebody was getting credit for this, or somebody wanted to be with somebody else. Nobody actually talking about the real reason for doing the show. No Christmas spirit. but. When I came back here today, I heard differently. You were saying things like, like you wanted to make this show your gift for the rest of the students. And I hadn't heard that before, and I apologize for that. Oh, and don't any of you have anything to say to Principal Crunch? Like what? We, uh, Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> Your shoe's untied. <laughs> and that you were wrong as well? She's right. Mr. Crunch, maybe at first we did do the play for all the wrong reasons. But we realized we were wrong, and we believe in the self. You know, all that joy and happiness, like, like the families coming together and everybody taking a breath and looking around to other people and, and stuff like that. That's, that's the way I feel. Now, for the tricky part. About the missing Santa. Oh, we heard it. You took it? Yes, uh, during our fire, fire drill this morning. Like I said, kids, I'm, I'm sorry. And it's just that it would be an even bigger disappointment to the school if you guys didn't do the show. But the important thing is that the show's gonna go on. Yay! Yay! Awesome! This is what we've been waiting for. I have a great idea. Principal Crunch, 
Principal Crunch, why don't you be the Santa at the end of the show? And we can take the plastic Santa and put him at the entrance to the auditorium. That way, when everybody enters, they'll see him. He'll still light the weight of the night. Yeah, yeah, that way we can preserve tradition. Our old Santa will still be part of the show. That's not the star. Oh, I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah, that's a superb idea. You do look smashing in that hat, Mr. Crunch. Ten times better than that old statue. Do you really think I'd make a better Santa Claus than our old Saint Nick? Oh, more than you know, sir. Oh, please, Archibald. Archibald. Well, I suppose that our old Saint Nick was just about down to his last Nick. <clears throat> but perhaps it is time to change the old tradition, make a new one. Woo! Yay. Awesome. Yay. Sounds good. But what I want to know is, um, how did you figure out I was the one who took the Santa? Well, it had to be you. Well, it had to be you. No how? disrespect intended. How so? Well, as I was going to say, we had four suspects left. Well, Mr. Perch, we loved the show so much, we just eliminated him right off the bat. And that left just three suspects. You two and Mrs. Lyles. Both ladies would benefit if the show was canceled. Mrs. Lyles would get rid of the kids early, and you could beat your mom. Right. So, how did you deduce it wasn't either of us? Because of the crime itself. I mean, such a small thing. No, one, only one person. One prop taken from one song in the whole show. How could either of you expect that, if you had taken it, that it would cause the show to be canceled? No, no only one person. Only one person. No, only one person to cancel the show for something so minor. And that led us to you. <laughs> he laughed! He laughed! Principal Crunch laughed! It's another miracle. And a Merry Christmas to you all! Troll the ancient Yuletide carol, 